Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, we're delving deep into the historic and enchanting city of Dubrovnik, Croatia. While the walled city is breathtaking, we're here to uncover some lesser-known stories and hidden treasures that will add depth and wonder to your Dubrovnik adventure. There is so much to explore in this enchanting coastal town, but today, we will be taken off path away from the fictional dragons and iron thrones, discovering places little known to the tourists, but ubiquitous to the locals. Join us on a journey beyond the walls, secret stories and places of Dubrovnik, Croatia. We will be witnessing the healing powers of Dubrovnik. We will be visiting a nature sanctuary. We will dive into a painter's paradise. Buckle up, because here comes our first hidden gem. The island of Lokrum. Only a short ferry ride away from Dubrovnik's bustling streets. This island is not only a natural wonder, but also home to lush botanical gardens. It's a serene escape, where you can wander through exotic plant life and unwind amidst the peaceful beauty. Our second stop is nestled just outside Dubrovnik. The Arboretum Trsteno is Croatia's oldest arboretum. This hidden paradise is a botanical marvel, home to exotic plant species and centuries-old trees. Wander through its enchanting gardens and feel at one with nature. Now let's venture to Fort Bokar for our third hidden gem, a much less visited guardian of Dubrovnik's city walls. This remarkable fort offers a strategic vantage point and a rich history. Discover its role in defending the city and the panoramic views it provides. Continuing our trip through Dubrovnik's marvels, we found ourselves at number four, Onofrio's Fountain. This remarkable fountain is located in the heart of Dubrovnik's old town, near the Pile Gate, one of the main entrances to the city constructed in the 15th century between 1438 and 1444 by the Neapolitan architect Onofrio de la Cava. It was part of a larger aqueduct system that brought water from a source located more than 20 kilometers away, providing fresh water to the residents. It is more than just a historic landmark. It's a place where local legends suggest that the water from Onofrio's fountain possesses healing properties. It is said that if you drink from the fountain, you will return to Dubrovnik one day. This belief has led to a tradition of tossing coins into the fountain for good luck. Before we dive into more hidden treasures and lesser legends, if you're enjoying the video so far and finding it informative, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more travel adventures and discoveries. Now, let's continue our exploration of this amazing city. Next on our journey, we step inside the fifth stop of our discovery, the Rector's Palace, an architectural gem that offers a glimpse into Dubrovnik's medieval past, a prime example of Venetian Gothic architecture and features a harmonious blend of Romanesque and Renaissance elements. The Rector's Palace played a role in various historical events, including the arrival of foreign dignitaries and the administration of justice. It also served as a prison during some periods. It's not just a museum. It's a time capsule of art, history, and culture. The stories within its walls are as fascinating as the architecture itself. When it comes to hidden gems, there are very few that rival the artistic paradise of Konovle, a picturesque rural region located in the southernmost part of Croatia, near the city of Dubrovnik. This beautiful area is known for its rich cultural heritage, stunning natural landscapes, and traditional way of life. It is renowned for its diverse and pristine natural landscapes. From the fertile Konaval Valley, with its lush vineyards, olive groves, and picturesque villages, to the rugged mountains that form the backdrop, the region offers a wide range of outdoor activities, such as hiking, cycling, and horseback riding. Konovle also offers a taste of authentic Dalmatian cuisine. 
Visitors can savor dishes made with fresh, locally sourced ingredients, including seafood, olive oil, and wine. The region is famous for its traditional culinary delights, such as lamb cooked under a bell, homemade pasta, and a variety of pastries. It's a place where traditional art and crafts thrive, from intricate embroidery to pottery. Meet local artists and discover the timeless charm of this countryside haven. Venturing further, we explore the Sponza Palace, the city's time capsule, a hidden gem filled with intriguing stories and centuries of history. Sponza Palace houses the state archives of Dubrovnik, which preserves a vast collection of historical documents, manuscripts, and records. The archives are a testament to Dubrovnik's rich history, including its legal, political, and administrative records. This unique structure has witnessed both grandeur and tragedy. Having survived the devastating earthquake of 1667, which caused significant damage to many buildings in Dubrovnik, it remains one of the few structures from that era that has retained its original appearance. From an old customs house to a place of deep historical significance, it's a must-visit for history buffs. Up next is a little less of hidden and a bit more of sun, because Dubrovnik is more than just history. It's also about enjoying the Adriatic's crystal clear waters. So here are a few recommendations of the sensational beaches that add to the majesty of Dubrovnik. Beach Buza. Located just outside the Old Town Wall, Beach Buza sits on a cliff between the Old Town Wall and the sea. Bellevue Beach. Home to the local water polo team, this beach sits in a small bay and the locals say it is best to visit in the morning when it is being hit by the direct sun. In the afternoon, the sun passes the cliffs and the beach becomes covered in shade. La Pad. It is a peninsula and suburb of Dubrovnik, located northwest of the old town. The Lapid area is also popular for its pedestrian walkways and collection of restaurants, cafes, and shops discover hidden beaches along the city's coastline. Perfect for a tranquil swim or sunbathing away from the crowds. We will wrap it up with the spot of all spots because here is where you can see all the places we have discovered from one single place. Let's finalize this journey with sky-high serenity as we hop on Dubrovnik's cable car. It takes you to the top of Mount Sword where you'll be greeted by panoramic views of the city and the Adriatic. It's a peaceful getaway offering unforgettable moments, both day and night. From here, you can see several places on our list. See Buza Beach, the forts, the island of Lokrum, and many more, while you sip on some fine Croatian wine and munch on a delicious local dish. And there you have it a few hidden stories and obscure gems of Dubrovnik that enrich your visit beyond the well-known attractions. From cultural treasures to unspoiled vistas, Dubrovnik has secrets waiting to be uncovered. If you've enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating travel adventures. Your support is what keeps unseen wonders and lesser legends going. Leave a comment suggesting some destinations that you would like to see included on our channel, and we will do our best to bring it to you. Shout out to Megan, who wanted to see Croatia. You asked, and we delivered. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, safe and happy travels.